expectations are uh, really to improve week on week, uh, to improve people individually uh, and, and collectively as a group. Be a better team in round 27 than we are in round one. Um, and that consistency of improvement is something that we've highlighted that needs to happen this year. Um, but you know we think we've got a competitive squad that can compete uh, in the majority of games we play. So you know certainly have a lot of optimism going into round one. The new boys are great, you know. We 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 brought in a, a couple of guys with good Super League experience, uh, also Great Britain internationals. Um, I think they they're also the great people off the field. So they, you know they brought a, a good fun atmosphere to the to the boys. They're easy to get on with, but also on the field, you know, they also put in kind of their experiences because you know we're a new team and still kind of gelling. So you know they put in a lot of their experiences, a lot of good talk into training and in, into the game. So you know they're adding a lot to us this year. I think they'll help with the stability um, and the consistency of the group. I think we've brought real quality in this time. We've not <coughs> brought a massive influx of, of new recruits in, but we've highlighted certain areas that we needed to improve on. And you know, I think I think we've done that uh, with them. So I think they'll add us a little bit more punch um, in the in the front row and the, and, the, and the back row, um, and you know, a little bit more quality on the edge as well. So I, you know, I think uh, we've recruited reasonably well. You know, there's still possibly one more to come in, um, but certainly. Um, you know, I think we're, uh, you know, highly optimistic about the year. You know, we learnt a lot of lessons in the Leeds game. Uh, we learnt a lot of lessons in the Catalans game, and, and some lessons in the Witness game as well. So, um, you know, I think they've done exactly what we wanted from them. Um, you know, and, and I think the players, um, uh, cer certainly things got highlighted in the Leeds game that we needed to address. But thankfully, we're addressing them now rather than after M1. There's an excitement about it. There's a real excitement about the season this year. Um, yes, you know the financial problems have been documented, and, and yes, we've drawn a line under that, and we're moving on, and we're trying to create some stability for the uh, for the Crusaders over not only the next 12 months, but the next five years. And you know, the 25 players in the squad have been uh, given that responsibility of, of creating a dynasty about you know what the Crusaders are. I think you know every every team really has got to strive to to go one step better than the. Than the season before, and you know the season before we surprised everybody. We, we, we reached the playoffs, so I think a minimum expectation for us really has to be the same, and uh, you know hopefully finish finishing a little bit better than eighth, and you know not leaving it till the last game of the season to squeeze into the playoffs. Um, so I think you know that that's, that really is an aim that we all should be striving for. You know I think we all know we've got a deficit, but it just doesn't enter enter the, the 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 mental preparation for a game. Ultimately, every team, every player goes out there to win, regardless of you know what points are on the board. So um, it's it's going to be nothing to us. We're going to go out and try and win every game as we did last year. Some you know some we're obviously going to lose, some we're obviously going to win. Um, and hopefully, like I say, when it comes to the end of the season, then we're in the mix to be in the top eight. Um, and if anything, because we're underdogs this year, especially because we're minus four. It's like last year, I think that the underdog always has a little bit of fight in him. Um, and sometimes, you know, when you favour at this, you kind of, uh, you, you can't really win because if you win, you, you're expected to. And if you lose, you know, things are real bad. So um, being the underdog almost, you know, gives us, gives us that extra fight. Well, there's 14 teams want to start with a win. Um, you know, unfortunately, they all can't do that. Um, so, you know, it's, it's obviously, you know, you, you highlight how imperative a, a start of the season is. And certainly for us, it's, it's, it's a massive aim for us to start extremely well. There's lots and lots of optimism uh, about the, the Salford squad this year, about from you know, a lot of expectation from the Salford fans. They've done a, a lot of recruitment this year. I think they've, they've recruited nine new players. They've got real quality uh, you know, from 1 to 27, 28 that they've got in the squad. So you know, they're, they're having a real... Uh, dig, uh, um, you know, finishing in the top eight this year, and they'll be feeling that pressure now because they'll be ready to launch into us in round one. And, you know, we've got to be prepared to repel that and, and fire straight back at them. You know, the way we're going to play is slightly different, so there's there's some excitement about it. And, you know, we're very keen on getting a good start. I hear that there's a film possibly you made out of you. Is Mickey Rock handsome enough to play you? <laughs> Some could say he's probably not handsome enough to play me. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Mickey's playing. He's going to be at the Magic Weekend. He's coming down to Cardiff. Um, him, the writer, the writer's been with me for the last couple of weeks. He was here for the Leeds game. 
try and just being here around while we've been training and kind of seeing what the boys put their bodies through um, and the mentality of a rugby player and you know while you're in the crowd and you know the mentality of the crowd and how passionate people can be and the big hits that go on in the game so yeah you know people you know Mickey and the right there are real taking all this uh, really seriously. And Brian's playing himself. <laughs> I, Brian would like to play himself. I think you know, you know, um, while well, Mickey and the writer and, and myself, we've all decided obviously that they they need to understand, you know, the the mental process of players, the mental process of coaches, and they want to get in his head and understand what he does to make the players tick. And that way, then when it comes to you know casting roles for directors and um, actors and stuff, then you know Brian will have a big big part in that. So De Niro. <laughs> Then he, apart, not, uh, Nobby actually said that the, the if the part for him needs to be a psychotic dwarf. Right. So uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> so Danny, Danny Vito could be a good one, but uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure we'll find someone as crazy enough uh, to play Nobby.